When we first started this journey, I asked you all to send me a flat Stanley of yourself so that we could go places together we could never go by ourselves. And thank you to those of you who did. Our first stop is to review our Linton meditations as we go through the garden. We were reminded that, like Pilate, we all condemn Jesus, and that Jesus took up the cross that he carried for all of our sins. When he fell, we remember the weight of our sin we're carrying and wonder what we are carrying that we should not. We remember that when Jesus met Mary, that meeting others on the journey brings us comfort. We remember that we are all called to take up our cross every day and lessen the sufferings of Jesus, and that Jesus leaves an impression on all of us. We remember that when we stumble, the point is getting back up again, and in our sadness, we should always look to God for what He is doing and how He is at work. We remember that every time we fall, we are forgiven, and the very core of who we are is laid bare before Jesus. By His stripes, we are healed. Yes, he died, it's true, but he is full of abundant life, and your comeback will always be greater than your setback, and death cannot take hold of him, or you. And so at the end of our Lenten journey, I invite you to look up to what God is doing in our lives now and in the next, because he is risen. He is risen indeed.